Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hey, if you're new, my name is Ebony. So today's video, I thought, well this idea came to me actually last night and I want to film it today. And I was thinking back to when I was going through acne, especially as a teenager, and I was thinking, if I went back and I could tell myself some advice, what advice would I give myself? You know, if I could go back and do everything again, you know, what things would I change? And I thought it would be quite a cool video, so it's kind of like, advice to my 16 year old acne self and I do think acne when you're a teenager really can differ to acne when you're an adult so if you like this video and you want me to do like advice to my acne self as an adult then we could definitely do that as well okay so I have 10 pieces of advice that I've written down it's nothing's in like a particular order I just kind of jotted them down as they came to my head and the first thing is is stop trying new products and like just panicking and just buying loads of different acne treatments and just overdoing it when i was a teenager i just wanted it to go overnight so i would try an acne treatment either go to my gp and they'd give me something and i'd try it out you know and if it wasn't working after like a week or two i'd be like oh this is rubbish not working i need to find something else and i would just jump to another like product and I was just doing the worst thing possible. My skin must have been like, what the hell is going on? Because one minute, you know, one product, then there's another. So it's just too much chopping and changing. Also, I was using quite active ingredients, which is something that actually is very much recommended for teenage acne, which, you know, I think there's a time and place, but I think the overuse is a massive, massive problem. Like, you need to use these things in moderation. That's when they work the best. I was putting on morning, night. I was doing spot treatments if I was, like, just walking around the house, and it was just a lot. So I was just stripping my skin, probably aggravating my skin even more. You're just making it even more sensitive, really. So that would be my first bit of advice. Just stop chopping and changing products products and you know if, if you hear about a certain acne product from like I don't know the internet or someone else and they've heard it's amazing don't just quickly run to the shop and try it straight away like you've got to stick to something and give it the time to see if it's working and just be gentle with your skin I mean I'm not adding in another point here but I guess sub point of this one be gentle with your skin stop abusing it okay so tip number two would be chill out on the processed food and I know coming from me who like talks about clean eating and stuff on my channel but back when I was a teenager oh my god before the ages of like 19 mum cooked really good meals and stuff but if I was left my own accord like junk food was my best friend I would eat so many sweets I would have hot chocolates at school and like donuts and just pizzas and dominoes and like fast food and just all the processed stuff I would go for if I went out to town with my friends you know we'd go for a Mackey D's so that definitely wasn't helping my skin back then I mean I was just eating pure chemicals so my advice on this point would just be just to cut it down I think you know part of being a kid and I've spoken about this in another video on my channel uh, about you know perfect eating isn't healthy eating is that you know if you're invited out for pizza with your friends yes go like it's okay every once in a a while but you know I was really going full swing every single day like even at school like paninis and just pasta and pizza with a lot so I think just make some better choices where you can if they're available and just you know get things into a bit more balance and moderation okay tip number three stop picking <laughs> step away from the magnifying mirror when I was a little kid like you know I just wanted the spots off my face definitely I, when I was a teenager I overpicked I would literally touch everything and anything even if it wasn't ready to come out and that just makes even more of a mess and then it's harder to cover and then you've got like scabs all on your face you know I mean because you picked at your spots yeah it's just not a good time and also massive thing about this one is that back then when I was touching my face like I definitely didn't know how to pick a spot right and I would just go at it so I was probably spreading bacteria all over my face so that was definitely making it worse so definitely try and refrain from picking your skin because also you don't want scarring which will move me on to my next point really nicely which would be moisturize now this doesn't necessarily have to be a cream moisturizer this could be maybe a tonic that you spray on your face it could be a serum it could be an oil whatever you find works best with your skin but make sure you are replenishing your skin and the reason I would give this advice to myself is because it just reduces the chance of scarring and any kind of complications from having acne later on in life and it also just keeps the skin very supple especially if you are using acne treatments they can be quite harsh and you know strong on the skin dust like hanging in front of the camera um so yeah just making sure you are moisturizing and keeping your skin supple i like that word supple so that'd be that bit of advice i think we're on our fifth piece of advice so that will be 
cut down on sugar. When I was a kid, again, kind of like I said before, before the ages of like, to be honest, with sugar, it's kind of before the ages of like 21, 22 like 23 in quite of recent years that i've actually really got into like lowering my sugar consumption but especially as a teenager oh my god i was such a sweet tooth kind of person i loved anything sweet my favorite chocolate was aero chocolate oh it was the best I remember at school we even had bearing in mind aero was my favorite chocolate at school we used to have a hot chocolate machine which was aero we had an aero hot chocolate machine at my school i literally used to have one every single day and i used to add sugar into it like knowing what i know now that was 100 percent driving my acne and the thing is when you're a teenager your hormones are trying to figure themselves out and these things like processed food and sugar they can just really disturb that balance even more and when i was a teenager like i just had no awareness of like you know how much sugar was in an aero hot chocolate that never even crossed my mind like if i came home from school i would go to the fridge and maybe grab some yogurts but i would just grab like three like Cause, like the amount and quantity and like contents of food never crossed my mind i had a very very fast metabolism as a kid so i never put on weight i was so active as well like i was dancing or doing some kind of sport every single day so weight was never an issue to me but yeah these things just never crossed my mind and although my mum was very good with me inside the house like all of our food was actually very nutritious and well balanced at school like like i said i'm left to my own accord so if there's an aero hot chocolate machine I'll have one or two or three, you know. Okay, so my sixth piece of advice is try and wash your face when you get home from school. I find just naturally teenagers get very, very oily and when you're at school all day, like, I never really, you know, blotted my face like I do nowadays. I didn't really pay attention to my skin state when I was at school, so I think you can accumulate a lot of oil on the skin and also if you're doing PE and, you know, sweating and, it, oh, it just all sounds quite gross to me when I say it all out loud. Try and wash your face when you get home from school and just get that grime from the day off your skin and, you know, just rebalance it with whether it's like a moisturiser or a toner or something um, and just try and get that grime off because I think that would definitely be a good piece of advice. I was actually quite good when I was younger. When I used to do sport and netball, I did used to um, like take my makeup off and then put like minimal concealer on spots and try and keep as like least product on my skin when I was being active. But yeah, just definitely making sure that once you finish like sports and you come home from school, just give yourself a good cleanse. Okay, so my next two pieces of advice kind of intertwine with each other. So I don't really know which one to say first. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one. Um, stop copying your friends when it comes to like makeup and skincare and anything to do with your face everyone's very very different and also like i had friends at school who could literally you know sleep even to this day can sleep in their makeup and will never get a spot and unfortunately my skin doesn't respond like that so that was one massive thing i think drove a lot of my acne as a kid like i just said there's kind of two pieces of advice that kind of intertwine together and i do want to talk about makeup as well with makeup like this is a good example my friend she would be like oh my god this foundation's amazing and i remember there was two we used to use we used to use maybelline dream at mousse and then there was another one by number seven which was like a mousse as well and it made your skin look so flawless and i remember like my friends were like oh my god it's amazing it's like the one to have so i would go get it and i would use it every single day and Oh, it just was clogging my skin so much and my skin personally couldn't handle it but just because my friends loved it and it was like the cool thing to have I would continue to use it so if I could give that advice myself I think I would have saved myself a lot of the acne that I did have it's funny because my mum even I remember as a kid she even said to me oh my god I can't use number seven like she's her skin doesn't respond well to it yeah I was like I'm fine and I was like breaking out all over my face and I also specifically remember it was the number seven foundation that I had really good cheeks when I was younger in the sense of they were completely clear it was my first place of acne was on my forehead but then when my friends were like using this number seven mousse stuff I got on it and then I remember I started breaking out of my cheeks but I never made the connection with the makeup back then looking back now I'm like oh my god it was the makeup and the same thing goes for skincare as well because what works for your friend might not work for you and that's what I was kind of saying the very first point about acne treatments if a certain acne treatment works for them if you use it and it's just not responding well then just take that you know sign as it's not responding well don't just stick with it just because it works for your friend now my next piece of advice let's talk about makeup um now when it comes to makeup i do personally think less is more if i look back at myself when i was a teenager i used to 
pile it on like icing on a cake like even when i had those clear cheeks i didn't need foundation on my cheeks but yeah i was just putting it on because i thought it was really cool to do and it's funny because now like i'm 24 and you know the least products i can get on my face makeup wise the happier i am i just think foundation is trying to mimic skin so if you have really good skin you know just enhance that like enjoy it because that's what we're all aiming for but then also if you do want to wear makeup and you know you want to wear foundation my biggest advice on this one would be try and find a foundation that works for your skin and has kind ingredients now i'm not the best person to ask on this front because i don't wear foundation but you can do your research. I'm sure there's like lots of people on YouTube who maybe like talk about acne and foundation, which ones are really good and everything. So I'm sure there's lots of resources for you to look into, but just trying to find a good foundation, which isn't gonna, you know, which isn't filled with loads of ingredients which are going to clog up your pores try and find a nice one i can't remember what number of advice we're on we're meant to be on number eight so we're just going to roll with we're on advice number eight my next piece of advice to myself would be it's not forever and it's not like permanent and things will change as a kid i remember like, i used to make me cry i was just distraught about it and i completely know how it feels being a teenager with acne but if i could just give myself some advice it'd be like you know, it's gonna change like this isn't forever and also most importantly it's normal that like the majority of teenagers go through acne it's of quite a small percentage that don't so really you're in the vast majority of people who do get a bit of acne so it is completely normal you're not like the odd one out um and just be kind to yourself about that and then my last piece of advice to myself would be to be patient which is frustrating i know because when we have acne we just want it to go but just be patient just do what you can and you know make the right choices and just be mindful with your skin and just be patient because one of the biggest things with teenage acne is like i said before in this video it's about hormones balancing and when it comes to hormones and balancing your hormones you can't do it overnight it really is a process and you've just got to let it play its like course it's exactly like when people get pregnant you know when people get pregnant they can like break out because their hormones go a bit out of whack and then when people like ha after having a baby it takes them time you mean to get their body back into sync but they just have to be patient as well so it's the same thing as a teenager you just got to be patient with your hormones but just do what you can to support the process so there we have it guys that is my advice to my teenage acne self and yeah if i could go back and give myself a little bit of talking to these <laughs> things i would say and also probably would say if i had a daughter or son one day these are the kind of tips that i would give them as well so if you do want me to do a video same kind of idea of this but kind of advice to just my adult acne self give this video a thumbs up or just let me know in the comments um i'm more than happy to do that for you if you like this video then make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that button if you haven't already thank you guys so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video Mwah. bye